So this is what's getting worked on right now. And here are, right here are our batteries. There's three more over there. Wires and somewhere a solar charge controller. I'm holding this thing up with my head right now. I'm going to have to figure that out. But uh, I'm going to start getting this set up when I've got this unboxed. You guys can come along for the little ride and we'll figure this out together. You know what I'm thinking would be even more fun? Doing my first ever unboxing videos and you can see what's all part of my solar setup. So, yay. For the battery, but still use your metal. Now we get them. You know what? You need to keep in the boxes. This man handle it. Getting rid of the boxes soon, anyways. Having a bonfire tonight with the community. Hopefully, that we get rid of all. The extra boxes. Oh no, it doesn't want to come out. At least they packed it safely. There's one. Ta-da! These are bigger than I thought they'd be. Yeah, no, these are really good batteries, too. They're LifePo 4. That's, like, the densest energy on the market currently. 12.8 volts, 100 amps. And I've got four of them. Open already. Looks like easier. Ooh, hang on. What is this? At least I don't know what this is. I have no idea what's in this box. I don't know what's in this box. It is the most important piece of the system. A solar charge controller. Let's take a look at it. I think I, 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 I got the 100 amp version. See, that's going to be really important for me to keep. Because I don't know how to do this. I'm honestly flying by the seat of my pants. But we'll figure it out as we go. This is it. This is exactly what I was... Oh, I knew it was this. Just a basic solar charge controller. Uh, let's go ahead and put these wet open on. Right there. That is some solar extension cable with little ports on it. These are important. These are positive and negative. It's to wire the panels in parallel. Best way to wire panels. This is four gauge wire. This is to go from the batteries to the inverter. That's the unboxing of this box complete. And let's figure out what's in this box. Okay. Well, this has nothing to do with the solar whatsoever. This is for a bicycle. It's a basket. I'm going to paint it pink. Why pink? Because I can. This here is, uh, I believe, a bike lock. This here is more solar extension cables because I needed them. And I think this is even more solar extension cables because I also needed them. These are fuses. These are safety fuses so I don't, uh, you know, accidentally destroy the solar system. That, 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 that's important.
And this is paper. You know what paper is. This is where we're currently at, my toes. But uh, batteries are out of the boxes. They're ready to be set up. I'm going to parallel them together. That means connecting all of these wire, all of these terminals together. Same with all of these terminals. Plus an extra two wires sticking out from here to one to go to the charge controller and one to go to the inverter, which I currently do not know the location of. And the same thing with the red. The opposite from here, two here, two extra wires on this side. That will go to well, the charge controller and the inverter. We'll need about that much wire per terminal. So I'll have to cut one, two, three. And yeah, connect them in. I'm going to go ahead and start the cutting uh, with one hand because I want to give you guys a show of me struggling to do this. These are not the proper wire cutters. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this for now, and I'll be back once I get this cut. If I get this cut. So I've got it all wired in. I don't have a crimping tool, so I'm going to have to use either my teeth, which is a bad idea, or the wire strippers I was using, and it's not a great idea, but it's better than my teeth. So I'm going to try to do that and get it crimped as best as I can, because that shrink tubing, and I'll use that after. That's only half of one. I still have five more to do. We are at the halfway point of getting these batteries wired up parallel. I gotta make more wires, but uh, the next side is obviously next. But yeah, that's gonna that, that that's parallel. Basically, turning it into one big battery. So now that I've got all the terminals connected, this is one big battery. I did leave that negative, uh, sorry, that negative and that positive terminal unconnected because there's going to be some more wiring into the solar charge controller where more things will be going into that with the solar panels and the power inverter so phase one getting all the batteries hooked up getting an inverter up and running to see if everything functional seems to be complete we will know once we test it. Success! It works! There's gonna be a part two for this one. I actually work on the solar section, but it works! We have power! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Woo! As you can see, we are done rigging this up. This part works, it's tested. All I gotta do is show them. They're, they're depleted right now because I, I used them, but. The batteries work. That is successful. Next, I have to rig this up. And I no longer need these high tension wires, so I'm gonna get these out of the way and we'll jump into the next thing. It's gonna be pretty much the same process as it was with these. Strip some of the wire. Cut uh, enough that I need off of. It's going to be sitting there for now, so the negative will need a shorter wire, the positive will need a longer wire. Figure out how much cable I need, cut it, strip both ends. One end gets one of uh, these rings that attach directly to the battery, the other one gets nothing and screwed right in. That's the battery set up, then the next will be the solar. Another very important thing to note when you're working with anything electrical. There's no power going to this stuff. The power is the last spot. Like, not until this is all wired and closed up, there'll be no spots of power going into this box or anywhere else because safety. You know, you don't want to get lit up like a Christmas tree. These are next. These are actually two parallel the uh, solar panels you've got your positive and your negative to parallel four panels together you need 
two become one times two, and then those two become one. Same with the negative side, and then you wire from there. So I'm going to hook these up together because that's for two panels that become one panel, like so. I said like so, one hand and a foot. So as you see, two two panels plug into here to become one. The other two plug into here to become one. Those two panels plug into here to become one. And before I even think of plugging the panels into that, each one of the positive cable get one of these. These are fuses. These are just extra backup so you don't fry your panel. If something fails, this is a backup on a backup system. And yeah. And... In we go, and you should hear that click. And that is a positive parallel kit for the solar for four panels. So if you had more than four panels, you could do this even more where, you know, eight panels became four panels, four panels became two panels, two panels became one panel. All it does this way is it increases the uh, wattage, not the voltage. It increases the amperage and the wattage, not the not the voltage. It's safe, but you always get some redundancies such as these fuses. Just so everything doesn't go if one thing goes. Now to actually wire the solar into the system, I'm going to have to splice out the female head. Get it into the charge controller for the positive and the negative, and then run these lines. Now the positive is spliced for the solar. It goes in here. Once she's in there, you give these little things to tighten, and it ain't going anywhere. So that'll bring power in. Just need the negative. These are to the battery. This is almost set up and ready to start. It, it took quite some time, but it's set up and it's functional. All the batteries are functioning as one, so that is a 400 amp hour 12 volt battery. All the connections work. This wire goes to the inverter so I can run power. So does this wire goes to the inverter so I can run power. This wire goes from here to the solar charge controller, which also that wire does too, and it's on. So all the batteries are functioning and wired properly. The next step to do is set up the panels and plug them into the system. Let's get on it. I done gone messed up. This here goes from the uh, charge controller supposed to go outside unfortunately this is the male lead this is supposed to be the female lead this will not work so everything else was right but this one here that's an easy thing to fix that's why you get spares all oh, fixed see that's what spares are for always get extra so it's suboptimal I've got no room really to put them right now. I'm not on my spot. My spot is right here, in fact. And as you can see, there's no way for me to get there. This is where I'm parked and this is going to have to do. But as of right now, this is the final connection. And I will be drawing power from the sun. So let's do our best to do that right now. We should now, with all things considered, be running on solar. Let's check it out. It is drawing power!